South Africa, Kenya, Tunisia, and Nigeria may all experience running battles with the police, or peaceful demos to express dissatisfaction with the governments in dealing with economic and political problems. In Kenya, Opposition leader Raila Odinga has rejected what he called intimidation from the government after he announced Monday as the beginning of protests to resist what he calls a high cost of living which he blames on government lethargy. The Kenyan government has said it accepts peaceful picketing but will crush violators. In South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa issued a stern warning to opposition leader Julius Malema head of the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF, planned national shutdown. Now the current situation in this country's is not going as planned. In Kenya the traders and business owners in Nairobi Central Business District CBD, have closed their shops in fear of ongoing protests. Allegations emerged saying that all Azimio top leaders were not able to communicate with each other after the government reportedly disabled their phones and other electronic devices. Martha Karua has since broken the silence as she called out the police officers over how they have reacted to the ongoing demos. Taking to her official social media handles, Martha Karua blamed police officers for reportedly harassing people. According to her, Boda Boda riders were on their daily job in the capital before police officers started arresting them for no reason. On her Twitter this is what she has said. Why harass Boda Boda riders earning their daily bread in a battered economy? The actions of police today reveal that this illegitimate regime is scared of citizens, she tweeted. She went further and revealed that Kenyans have a right to hold peaceful protests and demos in the country as she blamed the officers for allegedly unleashing a reign of terror on them. The illegitimate Ruto regime cannot suspend the right to the peaceful procession and unleash a reign of terror on Kenyans. We must continue to resist until we restore our constitutional order, end of quote. However, Karua did not tell her supporters where she was tweeting from. It should be noted that sources had earlier revealed that Azimio top leaders did not spend the night at their respective homes. The leader reportedly anticipated a house arrest from the police and came up with a plan of spending the night at unknown places. Ryla has also not revealed where he is. He only tweeted saying he was on the way heading to the CBD. In South Africa the fearless defenders of the constitution are out in Tswane. No army and no police can stand in the way of a revolution. They are saying that it's now or never. Ramaphosa must go. I will keep you updated, for as journalist, this is not the time to stay away like the rest, but duty demands that they be in the thick of things to gather information and keep the public updated. Kindly consider hitting that subscribe button because you will be supporting us.